welcome. Uh, it's sunny here in Treaty 1 territory. I am coming to you from the traditional lands of the Ojibwe Cree, Oji Cree, Dakota and Dene Nations and the homeland to the Red River Métis. This land acknowledgement that we uh, use for Creative Mornings isn't something that we just say. Uh, it's a foundational understanding of how we work as an organization, guiding our continual learning and unlearning process. This has especially been the case this past month with the discovery of the bodies of 215 children found at the former Kamloops Residential School and the discovery in the last few days of the over 700 unmarked graves at Cowess's First Nation at the former site of the Maryvale Indian Residential School. These heart-wrenching moments and those inevitably yet to come have reinforced the importance of community through the sharing of grief, anger, and the knowledge of our collective and brutal history. The fact that it's Indigenous Peoples Month, the 150th anniversary of Treaty One signing, and Pride Month highlights the importance of bringing community together, like at Creative Mornings events, to share stories, to hear diverse perspectives, and to learn from our speakers and from one another, which I have no doubt we'll do today. But we don't When are we gonna talk openly About what we're doing When are we gonna do Something more than just Winnipeg chapter has also made a commitment to reflecting diversity and ensuring inclusion for our events. Located in one of the most diverse communities in North America, we are as inclusive as we are creative, and we will be creative in order to achieve inclusion. Please help me welcome Natalie Pambra. And uh, just want to say good morning and bonjour, Tanse. Um, I want to acknowledge that we're in that full strawberry moon today um, on the cusp of the summer solstice. And I want to thank the organizers and the volunteers of Creative Mornings Winnipeg Chapter for inviting me this morning um, uh, to share uh, from Treaty One territory um, in the heart of the Red River Settlement. I want to share the resilience and the vitality of Indigenous women and girls and genderful people and how they've led me to live a more creative life. So what is this thing we call creativity and how do we connect to it? Matriarchy says creativity is your mother, not just for birthing you, but for sharing all her skills and knowledge and the ways of being. Creativity is being filled with wonder. Matriarchy says, creativity is seeing the connectedness between you and all of creation. Creativity is in the land, creativity is in the water, and you're not separate from the land and the water. They're your relatives, and you are theirs. All my relations. Creativity is inclusive. Creativity values everyone and their contribution. Creativity is connecting to your ancestors. Creativity is broadening your sense of self through time and space, situating yourself within the web of creation. Matriarchy says, the birthplace of creativity is found in the relational. Cultivate creativity through your kinship relations. Creativity is deep listening. Creativity is born beyond the binary where multiple perspectives can exist, creativity is open to change. Birthing new ideas can be painful. Transitions are the cusp of creativity. Do not give up, do not quit. Pain is productive. It means you are transforming. Creativity is allowing yourself to be vulnerable. Creativity is being open. The birth is imminent. Creativity makes you stronger. Soon you're sitting with that new life for all to see. 
creativity allows you to relish in these new perspectives and give birth to new possibilities. Thank you for being here today. And thank you, Natalie.